feel strong. Um, so today we have nine different exercises. It's going to be pod based. So there's going to be three pods. Each pod you're going to do two sets before you move on with two laps through, just as we typically do on our Tuesdays. We'll end today's workout with a 90 second plank hold. Um, for today's workout, between those hydration or between each pod, you have a one minute hydration break. Um, I'll demo our nine exercises, then we'll do the warm up together. All right. So our first pod, as we know, this. Um, Workout follows pod base is also muscle group base. So our first pod is going to be upper body. We have a reverse row, so palms are forward. Row, then turn, fly. Row, turn, fly. Upper body on this one. Then the next one is a neutral grip Z press. You're going to need to find a wall or sit against your couch so you're very upright. Probably going to make more marks on the ceiling that Don will have to um, lose sleep over. Uh, but you guys have a Z press. So you're forcing your body to be straight, um, and then it allows you to focus on a little bit more of that muscle concentration, less of that back arch. The next one is a lateral raise to a hero curl, working our shoulders here. And now we're going to go into our second pod, which is going to be the core. So we're going to end with legs today. You guys have straddle ups. So straddling those legs as you come up, it's just like a jackknife, but your feet are going to go wide. There will be mods for that one too, so it's okay. After that, you have a sit up. You can hold a dumbbell or a weighted object here. This is exercise number five. And then our last one are bicycle abs right here. If you want, you can do the bicycle abs where we toss it under. You're more than welcome to find your own variation of today's workout. Then we're going to go into our third pod. So exercise number seven, you have a stiff leg deadlift. Slight bend in the knees. Sit the hips back and squeeze the glutes as you come up. Next one is going to be a lunge pulse. Because there's two sets, we'll do one set on one leg and one set on the other. I don't know why I keep setting these down today. You need them all day. <laughs> on your shoulders, you can place. Or if you have a heavier object, you can hold it just in front. And then our last one here, don't set them down, <laughs> is a sumo squat. So you're going to have your dumbbells in front of you, wide stance. Feet slightly turned out. Knees still stay in track with those toes. All right, those are our nine. Now I'm going to set the dumbbells down because we're going to do our warm up together. Um, let's start with just uh, butt kickers. Butt kickers. So we should all be doing this together now. Off the couch. Let's go. All right, we're going to bring it low and hold an ISO squat and punch it out. Punch it out, working that upper body. Good, let's bring it down into a plank position, mountain climbers, knee pulling to your chest. Hope you guys got some music on, rocking out today. Today's strength day, it's gonna be awesome. Step wide and then push back to downward dog. Step wide for that low lunge, press back. Take your time on this one. Really allow yourself to feel that stretch. After this one, do one more on each side. Then we're going to go on to our back. And we'll do with that lower body twist. So we'll swing a leg over. And then swing the other one. We haven't done it where you just swing a leg in a little bit. So I thought we would incorporate that one for us today. All right, do one more on each side. Then we're going to roll and reach forward into that straddle. So roll and then straddle, reach forward. Reach as far forward as you can so you can allow that stretch through your groin and your hamstrings. You also might feel a little bit of a stretch in your back depending on how tight you are. Let's do one more here. Then we're going to go up onto our feet. All right, on your feet, you're going to chop it out close to wide, close to wide here. So when you're ready, up onto your feet. There you go, nice and light. All right, we're going to do a lateral shuffle to a vertical hop. We're working that lateral movement. Just allowing our joints to warm up. And we're going to end it here today with jumping jacks. Changing it up on you. <laughs> Did a lot of jumping jacks yesterday and I feel it in my calves a little bit right now. 
or maybe it's from some of the other stuff that we did. All right, nice work job. Nice work, guys. Good job. Um, grab water if you need. We're going to start in just a few seconds. You'll need your dumbbells. We're starting with a reverse grip row to a fly. All right. Ten seconds we start. So let's grab our weight choice. Reverse grip row, which means palms forward in three, two, three R. Palms forward for that reverse grip row, then turn to fly. I have two different weights. Back is flat, hips are shifted back. 40 seconds of work here. Feel that pinch between the shoulder blades at the top of that row. Slight bend in the knees, neutral spine. Last 15 seconds. Almost there. Last eight, seven, six, keep going. In three, two, one. If your dumbbells or your weights that you're using, whatever variation of a weight that you have, is a little bit too light, at the top of your fly, you can find yourself pausing for a second before you come back together. So we have this 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna go back to our first exercise again. In three, two, one, here we are. So repeat what we just did, row, fly. Keep setting those hips back. If you start to feel a little bit of lower back pain, engage your core just a little bit more. Palms are forward for the row, don't forget, 15 seconds. After this, you need to find a wall for our Z press. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good work, guys. All right, let's find a wall together. We have our Z press. So your palms are going to face each other for that neutral grip. You want to have your low back against the wall, so nice and flat here. And we'll do our shoulder press. A lot of times when we do shoulder presses, we push our chest back. We have a slight arch. Three, two, here we are. So this forces us to maintain that neutral spine. And it really targets the shoulders. You're also going to feel this in your triceps too. There you go, sitting up tall. Keep those elbows in nice and close. A lot of times people flare their elbows out while keeping the dumbbells in. Keep the elbows and dumbbells in nice and close. 15 seconds. Keep pressing them up. I know those arms are starting to feel it. They'll really feel it on this second lap through. Last five, almost there guys. Work until the end, three, two, one. Nice work. One more set, and then we have a lateral raise to hero is our final movement here. Shoulders are going to really feel good. <laughs> All right, we start in seven, so get ready. It's kind of nice sitting against the wall, easing into the morning. Let's go. If maybe flexibility doesn't allow, you can bend your legs a little bit. It's just the same. We're really just focusing on that back staying flat. Fifteen seconds. Keep pressing those dumbbells up. This is called a Z press. Z press. Neutral grip Z press, I should say. As we have our palms in. Last three, two, and one. Nice job. All right. Next one, third one here, we have a lateral raise and we're going to turn at our, um, when our arms are parallel to the floor, into a hero curl. So lateral raise, turn, hero, and then slowly down. Ooh, our shoulders are going to feel great. Let's go, let's go. They're going to burn just a little bit, but that is perfectly fine. Slight bend in those knees, core is engaged. There's no rush for this one. There's that rotation, so take your time with it. You don't want to go too fast and hurt yourself. A lot of times hero curls are done with cables. If you go to a big box gym, 
Um, so you'll grab a cable in each hand and just do curls. But I find it's more effective to do a lateral raise into a hero curl because now you're working more with the uh, more variables. Good job. One more set, then we're back to the top with our first exercise that we did, which was our reverse grip row into the fly. Whew. Today's not a heavy breathing day, but we definitely feel it. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Lateral raise, turn hero. Find that slight bend still. Feet are shoulder width apart. Lift a horizontal turn and curl. Remember to breathe. On Saturday, we have an outdoor workout. I hope you guys can join. It's at 8 a.m. on Saturday. Sunday, we have wall yoga. That will be a Zoom. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, back to the top, guys. <laughs> Reverse grip row into our fly. First grip row to fly. Grab water as you need, but we will take it after this first pod. In three, two, one, palms are forward. Feel that pinch between your shoulder blades. And then turn to fly. Finish your whole reverse grip row with your palms forward. A lot of people, because we're going into the fly next, have the tendency to turn their wrists too soon. So finish your whole reverse grip row all the way down, then turn and fly. Again, if your weights are a little bit too light, you can always find that pause at the top of your fly before you come back down. Keep going here for seven. Last four, three, two, and one. One more set here and then we're completely done with our first exercise. Woo. Almost a third of the way done, guys. If you can go heavier, if you have the option to go heavier, go heavier, because that's our last 40 seconds doing this movement. Here we are. Let's go. Pinch. Palms forward, then turn and fly. Really working that back side here with this one. Don't let that chin drop. Really extend and elongate your neck. Neutral spine. Last 10 seconds. A few more reps. Then we get to sit against the wall. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Find your wall again or your space. Maybe you're going to sit against the couch. Feet will go out in front of you, and then our palms will face each other for this one. So make sure to try and get that low back as close as you can. Here we are. That low back as close as you can to prevent yourself from any imperfections. So allowing yourself to stay nice and tall, straight, have control. This really isolates the upper body's movement, so nothing else is able to help you push those weights up. So sometimes people have to go a little bit lighter. If you find that the weight option that you have at home is too heavy, you can always do one arm at a time. We're in our last eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. One more set here. <laughs> do you feel that one? Yes. I really like anything that's gonna isolate my muscles, so I only work those muscles. So like Z-press is one of my favorites to do, which I don't know why I didn't bring it out sooner. I forgot about it. Here we go, second set. Second and final set, right? Forty seconds up there. There's our halfway point, keep going. 
Remember to breathe as you do this. You can do exhale as you push. Inhale as you bring them back down. Exhale. Inhale. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right. Stand up on your feet. Last one in this pod. Our lateral raise to hero curl. Lateral raise, hero curl. You know what to do. After this pod, we're going to go into our core pod, which we really don't need uh, many weights. You just need one weight for that pod. Here we go. Nice work, guys. Way to tune in on this early Tuesday, getting it done. Ooh, Don, you got some nice form over there. Don't stop. <laughs> got really good form. He should be on the video right now. <laughs> Last 12 seconds, guys. Keep those elbows high, even for that hero curl. Don't let them sink down. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. One more set here. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're doing construction next door. They're working on those next few plazas. Is there still side tie going in? Yep, there will be a Thai restaurant over there. I don't know what the other one is yet. I don't think they've leased it out. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. So that's what any construction you hear for the next, I don't know, until we open is them. <laughs> they, we usually start before they get here, but sometimes, sometimes they're here. Sometimes they're on the roof, too. I don't know. It's very interesting around here. <laughs> Not many people, but lots of construction. There you guys, 15, 15 seconds. We get our hydration break after this. Work through it for your final 10, come on. Getting stronger. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, so we have our 40 and our 20. For our one minute hydration break, you get an extra like three seconds. Um, we have straddle up, so those are similar to our jackknives, but when you pull your legs up, you're gonna straddle. So find your variation of that. Um, if you have a bad lower back, you don't wanna bring your feet all the way down. So this is your straddle up, but you can also do it here too. So lots of choices. Then you guys have a sit up, so weighted sit up, trying to sit all the way up, and then bicycle abs for the last one. We know most of these movements, we start in about 25 seconds. So the only thing you need weights for is the sit-up for sure, and then you have the option to use it for the bicycles. All right, 10 seconds, and we're doing those straddle-ups to start with. We're on in three. Remember your variations. Two, one. So here's option one. Option two, you can keep that low back down and bring your feet as low as you can. Option three, you can keep your feet in line with your toes and reach up as you straddle. So lots of choices. You can always put your hands behind your ears and make it more of that upper body crunch as you straddle, or you can reach through. All right, guys, 15 seconds left. Last eight. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. So this one's gonna target not just our abs, but also our adductors, the inside of our thighs. A lot of people try and get to those areas and they think they can only do it on a machine, on the adductor machine where you sit and pull your legs together, but you can do it just fine like this. In three, two, and one. You also get more out of it by doing it here because it's your body weight, but you're also engaging your abs. I don't know if you guys work out with shoes on at home or not, but it definitely adds another variable, a little weight on that low body. Remember your options, you can always keep your feet together and crunch here too, or you can, let me find my coordination. <laughs> Go a little bit lower. Last four, three, two, one. 
All right, second one here, sit up. So you're going to want to hold on to just one weight. If you have lighter weights, you can always hold on to two. No big deal. You're going to sit up as high as you can with it. Just like that. In three, two, one. I hope you guys have been enjoying the nice weather. Our nice months in Michigan are only so long. So I hope today you guys are able to do something nice outside. It's going to be really hot, so let's try and do something before 1 o'clock. <laughs> Maybe you make it a pool day. If you're like me, you'll wear sunscreen. 10 seconds left. 5, sit all the way up. 3, 2, one. Nice work. One more set here and then we have bicycles. This is that core pod. I hope you're feeling it in your core. You can always roll over and do a seal stretch um, or up dog is what some people call it. I'll show you how to do it after the set. In three, two, one. After this movement, we have bicycles. So you'll stay on your back here, and we'll do our bicycle abs movement. Make sure you're sitting all the way up. 15 seconds. You got it. Last six. Five, work until the end. Get a few more reps in. Three, two, one. All right, next one. I'm going to show you our ab stretch. So you can either go on your elbows and push your shoulders out of your ears. That will target your upper abs. And you can be here. It puts a little more strain on that back, but you can also come there for the lower abs. Next one is bicycles. So you can either do it with or without a weight. If you do it with a weight, you'll pass it through. So this is with a weight option. Passing it through to the outside of your leg, not the inside. Or you can do it without and just find yourself twisting opposite knee to opposite elbow. I know everyone has different things at home, different weights. So maybe passing it would be a challenge. Or maybe you just want to focus on your own body weight today. That's fine too. 12 seconds. 8, 7, Maybe you do a mix of the two of them. Four, three, two, and one. One more set here. And then we go back to the top for our straddle ups. The favorite of the whole ab circuit. I know it is. I just have a feeling that you guys all love those. <laughs> all right, back on in three, two, one. After this workout, I want you guys to comment with um, any movement, not just this, but I want to get a little feedback from you guys of some of your favorite exercises that we do. Um, and maybe some things that you have a love-hate relationship with. There you go, 12 seconds. Feel those abs engage, eight. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, back to the top, straddle ups. So just like our jackknives, but we're going to straddle through it. You can always jump into that sphinx pose or up dog, stretching out your abs whenever you need. All right, here we are. Set two, lap two, I mean. Lap two, set one. It's our last time through. We're officially halfway through the workout. I know those abs are going to feel it, but I want you to try and fight through it. Do a couple more reps before you take that breather. If you take a breather, inhale, big inhale, and then you're back at it again. Okay, don't lay there. We have things to do. We have goals to meet. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. 
one more set. My biggest thing, it's okay to listen to your body and move at your own pace, but if you take a breath or you need to take a break, you have to go right back into it. Or then we just woke up for no reason. So you take your breath and then you get right back to it. In three, two, one. Here we are. This is our final set of these. And then we're done. Remember you have your variations. You're past your halfway, so keep going. 15 seconds. Last 10. Last 10. Come on, pick those feet up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. We'll all have really nice abs now, just from that movement alone. <laughs> all right, next one is sit-ups. So you can grab your weight. You can always do it without a weight, too. You're going to sit all the way up with it. Here we are. If you want, you can press it above your head. That's fine, too. Or you can keep holding it at your chest. Whatever feels a little more natural for you. Earlier my arms were tired, but I definitely gave my arms a little bit of a break with this ab circuit. And I'm looking forward to doing legs. Last five, four, three, two, one. One more set, then bicycles, hydration, lower body. So close, guys. So close. I'm excited for the plank hold at the end in three, two, one. I think it's exciting to see how long we can hold it and how much we can challenge ourselves to keep going. There you go, 25 seconds up there. Last 12, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job guys. Set your weight to the side if you want to use a weight for your bicycle abs. More than welcome to. We're going to end here with bicycle abs before hydration. Exercise number six coming at us. We start in five. If you're using the weight, pass to the outside of your leg. You would pass out, outside. Round up as you move through this one. Keep the shoulder blades off the ground, whether you're doing it with a weight or not. I know the variation of these are a little bit different, but keep those shoulders up. 15. Fully extend that leg. There's no rush here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. For bicycle abs, I know personally I move through them a little bit slower. So if you're moving through them faster than me, that's fine too. Um, I move slow just so I can really feel that full contraction as I twist and extend my leg fully. I could go a little faster maybe. <laughs> In three, two, one. Final set of abs. Here it is. Final set, guys. Make sure you're not pulling on your neck. I tend to put my fingertips by my ears or on my temples, and I use my abs to hold everything up. Fifteen. Fifteen seconds up there. Last eight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. 
Nice work, everyone. We're now going into our third and final pod. You can always go into that ab stretch if you need to. So for our third pod, third pod you're going to grab onto your weights. You can either hold two weights or a single weight, depending on how heavy your options are. Um, you'll have a stiff leg deadlift. So slight bend in the knees, send the hips back, deadlift. Then you guys have a lunge pulse. So with one leg in front, you're going to pulse it the whole time. And then we'll switch and pulse on the other side. And our last one is a sumo squat. So we're really targeting all of our muscle groups here. We're back on in 25 seconds. There's a lot going on today, or this week, I should say, at the studio. You'll see my face quite a bit. Um, <laughs> I think tomorrow's the only day off. Don and I were doing the math before we started. Tomorrow's the only day you won't see me at an event or a live. So <laughs> I will see you quite a bit. I hope to see you there. All right, stiff leg deadlift. Here we are. Send the hips back. Slight bend in the knees. Engage the core in tight neutral spine. Stick your butt out. Make sure you have that slight bend. So the reason why we have the slight bend on this one is to take some of that tension off our hamstrings. When you're coming up, I want you to think about squeezing your glutes to lift you back up, not lifting your back. Squeeze your glutes to pull 10 seconds. As you're going down, when you start to feel that pull on your hamstrings, that's when you would come back up. Three, two, one. Everyone's body will allow for a different depth in their stiff leg deadlift. So if you start to feel a big pull on your hamstrings here, then come back up from there. Um, but no one should ever pass their parallel with the ground. As soon as you pass parallel, then it's all back before I can squeeze my glutes. Here we go, second set here, second set. Shift back into those hips, squeeze the glutes as you come back up. Keep your gaze slightly in front of you. It will help maintain that neutral spine. Deadlifts are sometimes a very difficult movement for people, for individuals. Um, so really focusing, even if I'm saying a lot of different cues right now, even if you only take some of them, that's better than if we don't take any. So pick a couple of your favorites that you've heard or something that really makes sense to you and stick with that time. Nice job. And then we'll keep adding on to the knowledge that we know about a deadlift. All right, our next one here is a lunge pulse. So you can either hold one dumbbell at your chest or you can hold two dumbbells up on your shoulders. We start in five, so you'll have one leg in front for the in
lost sound? When did I lose sound? Can they hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, good. I don't know. Oh, how long did we lose sound for? Hopefully it wasn't too long. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Okay, so I'll tell you about Saturday. So Saturday from 8 to 8.45, we'll be at the park outside in Northville. Good thing we have the clock up there. You guys could look at that, too. Um, but it's at the Ford Field Lincoln Park. It's right by that big play structure. Right now, the parking lot's under construction, but you can park at the Historical Center, um, the Planet Fitness, or there's the Water Wheel parking lot, and just walk over. It's not far. Um, and then on Sunday, we have wall yoga from 9 to 10 is what it's scheduled for. It might be 9 to 9.45 or somewhere in there. Um, but all you need for that one is just yourself in a wall. Um, I will be here a lot this week, so you'll see me almost every day. So tomorrow I have off. I'll be here. Sonia will be training tomorrow. And then I'll train Thursday, Friday. I'll be outside for Saturday and Sunday for a Zoom. But enjoy the rest of your day. So sorry we lost sound. Hopefully it wasn't for too long. Okay, phew, you guys already knew what to do then. <laughs> but still, that's so quiet. Hopefully your music helped you jam out. <laughs> Bye, guys.